Hey guys, Smitty here. This video will be a review to the newly released class Eclipse, also known as Awakening Nova. I will talk about skills, builds, combos, and will share the test results. And before we start, I would like to tell you the rules on how to participate in the giveaway of the all-inclusive plus chest gift code. It will be a quest, you will need to watch that video to find a suggestion with the link to another hidden video and comment with the name of the first song of the hidden video. Note that I will spam all the messages with the name song and tomorrow we'll show them so we can all see how many participants we had and who was the winner. If there will be many, maybe I can find some more gift codes to share with you. And without further ado, let's begin with the skills review. First skill, Royal Fencing Thrust. It deals great damage, has super armoring field, days and knockback on hit, has branches, but fairly long cast time, which is not that great. So mostly used for field PvP and PvE. Second skill, Quillian Release. The damage is average, but has branches, has knockdown on hit, but has no immunities. One cool thing about that skill is it, it has no cast time, so you can cast the skill and then cast another skill straight away. Third skill, Royal Fencing Sweep, has great damage, about 2000% damage at level 1, super armor in field, which is not applied in arena, no down and 2 attacks. Also has branches and healing per hit, a great damaging skill, will be used in all scenarios PvP, arena and PvE. Next skill Charm Flare, only will be used for PvE, has range, knock up on hit, but has no immunities, neither has branches, and the damage is kinda low to be fair. Next skill Remise, your first immunity skill for arena, has super armor while using the skill and stun, the damage is kinda low and has no branches, but has two casts that will allow you to make a delays between your casts, so you can increase your super armor immunity. Next skill Ruin Sight. Mostly will be used for PvE, but also can be used in combo for arena. Has great damage and branches. Has days on hit and knockdown on last hit, but has no super armor so not useful for field PvP. Next skill Matter Fletch. Second super armor skill for arena. It has knockback on hit and cannot be grabbed by while jumping. The damage is average, but the fact of missing branches makes it even worse. It has a flow that allows you to unleash another hit right after the hit, so you can knock down the enemies with the second hit. But be careful, because the second hit, while activating it, it will increase the cooldown of the skill by 2 seconds, so be careful when using that flow. Next skill, Royal Fencing Lunge. Another average damage skill, but has forward guard breaking, which is pretty cool. Has mobility, super armor in field, and knockdown on hit as well. Also has branches and two charges, which is pretty cool. And not only that, that skill also allows you to combine with many other skills and nullify the first cast of the skill. So make sure to use it only after the skills that nullify its cast. Next skill is Royal Fencing Repost, your third immunity skill for Arena. It has 4 guard by using the skill, only 3 seconds cooldown and days on hit, but the damage is very low. Also, one thing to note about the skill is that it has a flow attack that allows you to do 2 more attacks and also apply 4 guard but only in field, which is not applied in Arena. Make sure to deactivate that flow for Arena, otherwise you will get CC'd every time while using that skill, because the skill continues even if you don't press the skill itself. As you can see, I'm not pressing and it will continue, so make sure to disable it for arena, while for field you can keep it activated, that flow. Next skill, Star Shatter. Just like Quillian release, it has a unique mechanic, unique flow that allows you to nullify the cast time of that skill and use another skill during that skill as well. So let me show you real quick here. So just like this skill right here that nullifies the cast before it ends, just like the same with that skill, you can nullify the cast, the full cast time of the skill and use another skill. But the fact of it not having immunity, not even branches, makes it not that useful. 
At last, the buff gives 100% star breath, which is the energy of Eclipse, and 50 attack. Now, talking about the passive, it's star hard. First of all, it gives 10% chance to evade attacks when attacked, which is pretty cool. But it's not applied in Arena, so that's an unique mechanic for Eclipse. Second part of the passive is that it gives 50% energy or star breath for Eclipse every time she uses a skill and when, when she have 100% energy she releases Star's Breath which will increase the skill damage by 50% and increase PvP stats by 10% each. So every time you use the skill you will increase your energy by 50%. So basically every third skill will deal extra 50% damage and will increase your PvP stats. Done with the skills, now let's talk about the builds. Here you can see the skill builds that I shared already in my last video. First is used for PvE, second will be used for field PvP and boss fights. It has lots of burst in first bar and it has all the immunity skills on all the skill build. The third skill build will be used for arena, but that's mostly enthusiast arena skill build. You can use an easier one that I can show you right here. Now talking about the combos, the enthusiast one deals more damage, but it is also kinda harder. Now for the simplified version of the combo, you can use this instead. Done with the combos, let's talk about the tests. Ability to cancel two skills animations, make Eclipse a good farmer, scoring her 322 kills per minute in her doom. Damage numbers are also very high. In field, her DPS can reach a burst of 17,600% damage, while in Arena PvP, her simple stonelock combo deals about 14.5k damage, and Enthusiast one can reach up to 20.2000% damage. In Arena, she feels comfortable, flashy and stylish. 3 immunity initiators and a 3 seconds 3 hit follow guard allows her to counter many classes. In mass pvp is where she will fall quite a bit, a pure melee class with not much sustain. The only hope is the 10% evasion chance, but that's only 10%. Final verdict for Eclipse will be cool for arena, average for field and good for pve. And that was it for Eclipse review, don't forget to participate in the giveaway, leave a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, that was Smitty, have a nice day.